Hey coach, this is Coach Van with Next Play Hoops and we're back again with our next uh, video playbook preview. And today we're gonna discuss the European ball screen offensive playbook and give you a look inside. So um, some people call this Euro, some people call this flow. Uh, our playbook terminology and vocabulary, we call it one. Uh, it's just something that we've, we've called it um, ever since I put it in. Uh, but this playbook uh, is 452 pages. It has 32 different counter plays and quick hitters that you can run uh, depending on how the defense is playing you. Uh, we also give you seven different entry play options that you can choose from uh, that can seamlessly uh, flow directly into your continuity offense. And we also give you 400 pages in practice drills to help break down uh, the Euro ball screen offense. So uh, the Euro ball screen offense is a continuity offense. Um, it's a great offense if you have uh, some uh, pick and roll players or really good wings who can who are really good decision makers coming off the pick and roll. Um, and it's great because it just gets the ball moving from side to side. It has some high low action. It has a backdoor cut involved in it. So um, pretty, pretty good action in it altogether. But I, it's very easy to defend if you don't have uh, counter plays to choose from. So that's one of the reasons why um, this book is, is, uh, is so great. Um, you can go in and you can maybe pick anywhere from five to 10 plays. If this is an offense that you run, I would highly suggest at least having 10 uh, to 12 counter plays to choose from, depending on, on again, how the defense is playing you. So uh, if they're playing you a certain way, then you can make that read and, and um, uh, make, make a, a different play call that's going to surprise the defense. So um, we're going to go over the table of contents here really quick. And I'll blow this up so everybody can see it. Uh, again, Euro ball screen offense. Uh, we first go over the transition, how we want to transition uh, from our primary break right into our secondary break and get right into our Euro ball screen offense. Uh, then we give you all of the Euro ball screen plays, the continuity, and the different counter plays that you can choose out of it. Uh, then we give you the Euro ball screen entry plays. Again, we give you seven different entry plays that you can choose from. Uh, a lot of these entry plays will have three to five um, uh, scoring options out of them before flowing directly into our continuity. So it kind of um, keeps the defense on their toes. They think, okay, we're y'all, they're not going to run the Euro ball screen offense, but we're actually just running a quick hitter that's going to flow into the Euro ball screen offense if we don't get a look out of one of our entry plays. So uh, then we also give you inbounds plays that uh, whether it's out of a blob or a slob or a baseline and sideline out of bounds that will directly flow right into our Euro ball screen offense. And one of the reasons we like to attack off everything we do, those are special situations. Um, that you can take advantage of in a game that maybe you outscore your opponents by four to six points and on sideline or baseline out of bounds. Um, and we don't want to take the foot off the gas pedal. We want to keep the defense constantly on their heels. So uh, if we can outscore our opponents in special situations, then that could win us the game. So um, we give you a couple of plays to, to get right into your offense and flow right into it. Uh, then we get into our Euro ball screen drills. Uh, almost 100 pages there and just those. And then we break it into subcategories. Uh, we have Abe action drills, which Abe, uh, some people call that twist. We just call it Abe. That's our terminology. Uh, and those are just rescreens. Um, if somebody's going under or, or if they're um, uh, icing the wing ball screens, then we want to make sure that we're teaching our players how to uh, rescreen and uh, give us a, a different angle. Uh, our go action is similar to a step up screen. Um, so those go action drills and then moose action drills, that's, uh, that's flashing from the weak side to high low if we have to go into some throwback opportunities. And then uh, our one action drills is again, our Euro ball, uh, ball screen offense drills. Uh, specifically for the whole offense. Um, and there's over a hundred plays there. And then we work on drift passing just in case we are uh, rejecting the screen and driving baseline. Uh, so we got some drift passing drills and then we got some throwback passing drills too, um, where if the tag man is, is, is tagging the roll man, we want to make the proper reads. We want to teach our players how to look for the throwback pass on the lift option on the backside of, of our Euro ball screen offense too. So um, that's, that's the table of contents. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside the book now. Um, I'm just going to start here with our, our basic Euro ball screen continuity for all those people who are coaches who do not know what it is. Uh, we like to start with just kind of a dribble entry, um, uh, a DHO to number three who hits number four. 
Um, and then we'll just come back, fill with one as three cuts through. I mean, that's just one way to get into it. But basically frame two is kind of where this is the Euro ball screen offense starting at frame two. Four is going to set the screen for one and then roll. One comes off looking to attack, maybe hit the roll. But if we don't have it, one, if you look in frame three, is going to pass the ball to five. And that is when it triggers the cut by number two who will cut all the way through to the opposite side. We can potentially hit two if X2 is uh, turning their back to the defender and maybe throw a bounce pass on that back door. You might get that once or twice a game uh, if you're looking for it and the defender falls asleep. But if not, five can pass to three or he can dribble handoff with number three. And then we have continuity and this is where the continuity comes in. We have another ball screen on the opposite side where five sets the screen for three, three attacks, five rolls, and then four lifts. And we're just in continuity on the opposite side. Uh, you will see that every single one of our plays uh, and frames is color coded, easy for all coaches to understand what's going on and, and see the different colors or the, whether it's the defenders and different colors or the passes. Uh, each frame has a description where we explain the, the reads and what's going on in each frame. Uh, so it's extremely easy for the coaches to understand if there's any confusion whatsoever, what they should be looking at. Uh, they can, pr all these plays are printable so they can bring them to practice. Um, you can give it to your assistant coaches to help them understand um, really, it's really effective too when you're, you're giving your, assistant coaches uh, the practice plan and the plays and what we're going to be going over and let them be able to see it um, to make sure that everybody's on the same page uh, you can bring all of these to your practice as well because they they you can bring them up on your iphone or your ipad uh, you can easily bring it from home to practice or a game either or so uh, so that's kind of that. So let's kind of kind of scroll through the book. Again, these are all our Euro ball screen counter plays here that you can run. And some entry plays as well as our baseline sideline out of bounds. And then we get into our Euro ball screen drills. And this is uh, to help break down the offense. Again, each one of these drills has full descriptions where the rotations are going uh, and easily explain what you should be doing in each drill. Here's our Abe action drills. Again, this is our rescreen. Some people call that twist or go action, which is just the step up screen. Um, and here's our moose action drill. Actually, I will, let me show you here really quick. Let's take a look at one of our drills. This is called the swing high leg and triple threat drill. Uh, just a simple drill, one to two to three. And then what we have is we have a coach on the weak side. And when we're swinging the ball from side to side or we're trying to get into our um, uh, continuity in our Euro ball screen. We need to get high leg. So we're just kind of teaching our number four player over here how to get high leg, maybe catch the ball, rip through and drive baseline. And that keeps the continuity of the drill going. You can see we have a full on description here of everything and the rotations and where everyone should be going. And then some of um, the teaching points in the drill as far as rip through baseline for a layup, then we can rip through for a baseline for a floater. Uh, we can drive middle for a layup. We can drive middle for a floater. And then we can drive middle for a uh, one dribble elbow jump shot, one dribble pull up. Um, so again, all these drills um, are broken down like that uh, for, for easy understanding of every coach. Here's our uh, Euro ball screen more drills. And here's our drift passing. Some people call this Nash where you're driving baseline and make that skip pass. Sometimes you can use that on hammer. Uh, here's an example here. I'll look at our 21 and go hammer shooting and transition drill. Um, let me go down one notch so you can see the whole thing here where uh, one pass to the coach gets a dribble handoff back and then we're driving baseline. And this is a drift pass right here. And then we got hammer action. So this is a drill that we use that number one, we're accomplishing numerous things. Uh, we got a coach with the ball here uh, who is passing to five. Uh, number one is is passing to the coach and then driving baseline and then making that drift pass here. So um, you got a couple of different shots and actions happening to keep all the players moving. So uh, good drill. We don't just want, you know, 12 players watching what's going on. Uh, we'd like to incorporate as many players as possible if we can. 
um, in each repetition. So uh, then we have our throwback passing, our two action lifts and pops. That's our terminology. Once you look at our playbook vocabulary and terminology, you have a better understanding of, uh, of that. So again, 452 pages in our Euro ball screen offense. Uh, it's, it's a continuity offense. It can be extremely effective when you put in the counters. Um, and uh, uh, it's a great offense. We like it. So um, if you have any questions or would like to uh, have a, uh, a, a look at this playbook or any other playbook, you can reach out to me at coach van at nextplayhoops.com. Again, that's coach van at nextplayhoops.com and uh, look forward to hearing from you. We'll see you at the next video. Thanks. Coach.